Good evening everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Is my voice audible to everyone? Please put a message in the comment section. Yes or no. Good evening everyone. A beautiful day today. We get to share some immense amount of knowledge. My name is Dr. Anand and first tell me did you miss my classes because I got so many messages we got that people are happily 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 you know what you called um, liking the classes. I hope my voice is audible to everyone. Uh, in this beautiful class we're gonna talk about pediatrics. The subtopic is growth and development and the sub 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 topic is short stature. My name is Dr. Anand. I have done my MBBS from Rajiv Gandhi University. I did my MD in the field of pediatrics. Then I did my SR sheet from Lady Harding and NDMC Medical College. Then I became a assistant professor then i realized that life is really beautiful then we had this amazing teaching experience we teach the beautiful ug pg and an md and mrcpch student good evening everyone a beautiful day today let's start this amazing class guys good evening dr shubhangi yes yes dr shubhangi shubham osama beautiful people beautiful amazing good vibes good vibes. i'm getting very strong good vibes <laughs> so it's good uh, today's topic of choice is short stature. It will be covered in the subtopics like definition, types, clinical features, investigations and management. Short stature is a 5 marks MBBS final year topic and even you can get a case presentation of the short stature. Before starting any amazing segment, we always have a beautiful amazing quote and today's beautiful amazing quote is that what we see, what we see depends mainly on what we look for. What we see, it actually mainly depends on what we look for. Very, very, very important. So basically, if you look for positivity, you will get positivity. If you look for happiness, you will get happiness. If you look for negativity, you will get negativity. So always be happy. Zindagi Bhagwan ki ek bahut hi zada mahengi gift hai. So usse usse appreciate kare. Life is the most beautiful thing you can ever get. Life is the most beautiful present you will ever get in your life. So appreciate that, embrace that, and accept the way the life is so whatever we see what we see depends mainly on what we look for so yes that's perfect right dr fellow hello hello samridhi hello manu chaudhary uh, again samridhi keshkar yes 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 aaj wo shairi bol do ek bar main end mein bolunga chubham in the end we have some amazing shairi so let's talk about it you are an amazing doctor let's talk about it short stature short stature so how do you define short stature the first basic question for a neat pg and fmg student how do you define short stature can you answer in the comment section please yes very beautiful shubhangi is very very right short stature is defined as height less than third percentile height less than third percentile for the respective age and sex i'll repeat again short stature the cutie pie this small baby has a small height so height less than third percentile like we have a proper gra graph in that one we have the 50th percentile 10th percentile third percentile like that so height less than third percentile for the respective age and sex is known as short stature second important question if i ask in standard deviation in if i want to I'll know in in the ways of standard deviation can you please tell me how do you define short stature then according to the standard deviation any idea so yes very very right nothing but height less than minus 2 standard deviation that's very well put height less than minus 2 standard deviation is short stature height less than third percentile is also short stature so two beautiful points we have co covered and here only if i talk about the standard deviation can we beautifully link and study how do you define microcephaly how do you define microcephaly yes very beautiful good evening dr abhishek vishwakarma dr hanapert that is shiv priya gupta osama sarthak prahara says hi sir very good evening i have sent you some voice message on whatsapp Can check at your convenience yes buddy i'll do that microcephaly is nothing but head circumference less than minus three standard deviation macrocephaly is head circumference more than two standard deviation for the respective age and sex so we have covered five mcqs i'm gonna repeat again how do you define short stature number one sir short stature is defined as height less than third centile second if i want to talk about in standard deviation height less than minus two standard deviation microcephaly is head circumference less than minus three standard deviation and macrocephaly big head large head macrocephaly is nothing but head circumference more than two standard deviation now the thought process basically is 
so this baby a very beautiful picture can we appreciate this beautiful baby is a case of short stature so photographic memory photographing memory very beautiful we must appreciate this point short stature so let's talk about it okay i have a case presentation we have a patient who says the mother says doctor my five year old female my five year old female my dog like my daughter she's five year old she is not gaining height she is not gaining height how do you approach this case how do you approach this case you need to talk to me you need to talk you need to share your beautiful amazing million dollar ideas just think okay you are a amazing mind-blowing doctor and some patient comes to you in the opd doctor i have a five-year-old daughter and you know she's not gaining height doctor and you check the height the height of the baby was less than third percentile how do you approach this case what do you think like uh, what is the first question do you want to ask anything to the mother or do you want to check anything beautiful yes amazing i have a doubt okay let's go one by one so what is the normal height of a five-year-old if 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 you declared that the baby has a height less than third percentile like can you tell me some formula or something like that what is the expected height of a five-year-old what do you think so yes very beautifully done yes we are very very right we have age into six plus 77 the formula to calculate the expected height of a baby the formula to calculate the expected height of a baby is nothing but age into six plus 77 so five into six plus 77 so five into six is 30 plus 77 so one yeah so yeah exactly so 107 centimeter 107 centimeter should be the normal height of a five-year-old so you need to you need to think about a topic from 360 degree angle point of view okay mother says doctor my baby not gaining height then obviously you should know that five-year-old baby normally five-year-old baby the normal height of a five-year-old baby is 107 centimeter and the formula for that is nothing but age in years into 6 plus 77 age into 6 plus 77 is the formula for the expected height and that's what so you can get a rough idea about it and very beautifully our one of our favorite student dr shubhangi kaushik has been beautifully told that various types of short stature so see i ask you a question like i said uh, mother says doctor my daughter she is very short or she is not gaining height how do we, how do you approach this case or what questions do you want to ask to the mother so you must be knowing short stature is of two types we have nothing but physiological short stature and pathological short stature okay are you understanding physiological short stature and pathological short stature like the physiological short stature means as everyone knows if the father and mother's height is less if the father height or the mother height is less then naturally i assume that their siblings their you know a, a, a daughter or son height also will be less are you understanding if the parents are short the baby will be short if the parents are tall the baby will be tall this is like a physiological short stature again i'll repeat the short stature is of two types we have familial short we have a, a physiological short stature and pathological short stature physiological short stature like the roughest rough thing we need to understand if the father and mother height is less then the baby's height will be less you have to ask the mother okay uh, you, you need to take the mother's height you need to take the father's height you need to ask the mother कि इसके पापा की हाइट कैसी है मेरे जितने लंबे हैं क्या नहीं डॉक्टर आपके जितने लंबे तो नहीं है थोड़े से छोटे हाइट के हैं और मदर कैन से नहीं डॉक्टर आप जितने लंबे और आप जितने सुंदर हैं so both ways can happen you know it happens that way yeah exactly very good very good shubhangi is right abhishek vishwakarma is right perfect perfect so as we have beautifully covered short stature is of two types physiological and pathological physiological i understood if my dad is short so i am also short that can happen and for to know that we need to calculate something known as mph something known as mph examiner can judge you examiner will ask you what is mph can you answer me what is mph and what is the formula for mph mph is nothing but very importantly mid parental height mid parental height very very important mph is nothing but mid parental height that's very well put very beautiful beautiful dr suman is right osama sheik is right <laughs> osama has kyu raha hai barat hai has kyu raha hai tu <laughs> that's right so that's what you need to know uh, quickly i'll finish it off the physiological and pathological short stature in a case of physiological short stature i need to take the mid parental height it is for different for boys and girls that you should know and then we have something known as uh, pathological short stature 
to know this pathology to know little more about the pathological short stature we need to know something about the upper segment lower segment what is that what is the ratio what are the normal values that's it's the something basic we need to know so what is upper segment can you can you can you tell me what is the meaning of upper segment and what is the meaning of lower segment yes that's very well put so from the vertex from the baby's head from the, from the vertex to pubic symphysis from the vertex to pubic symphysis symphysis that is nothing but known as upper segment okay i'll repeat again yes shubhangi kaushik is right from the upper segment to the lower uh, from the upper from the vertex to pubic symphysis i will put a inchy tape i will check the upper segment of the baby from the pubic symphysis to heel from the pubic symphysis to heel that is the lower segment of the baby okay this is a case presentation question okay examiner will ask you examiner will I'll ask you what is pathological short stature then you need to know sir in the pathological short stature first of all i need to uh, calculate the patient's upper segment lower segment ratio then examiner will ask you what is upper segment sir i will put a inch tape or i will calculate the, the the baby's length from the vertex to pubic symphysis that is upper segment from pubic symphysis to heel that is the lower segment and what are the normal values yes very beautifully dr shubham and dr fillo and dr osama sheikh has told the normal values the normal upper segment lower segment ratio at birth is nothing but 1.7 is to 1 okay upper segment versus lower segment ratio at birth it is 1.7 is to 1 at 3 year of life it is 1.3 is to 1 and 7 year onwards it is 1 is to 1 okay upper segment lower segment ratio dekho pehle normal pata hona chahiye tab pata lagega na ki abnormal hai ya normal hai first we must know the normal values and then we can tell you accordingly according to my patient so upper segment lower segment ratio at birth it is 1.7 is to 1 at 3 year of life it is 1 is to 1 and 7 year onwards it is 1 is to 1 and how will i remember 1.3 is to 1 3 3 okay 3 3 3 3 is like the roughly mnemonic which we must appreciate regarding the uh 1.3 to 1 okay as everyone understood this much please put a like button or put a thumbs up that you have understood this part regarding this much regarding the short structure I hope we are able to understand this beautiful knowledge if you want to repeat this let me know if you are able to understand please let me know in this beautiful class we understood the short stature we understood about the various definitions of short stature and one of the important definition is height less than third centile and in my super specialty exam they had asked the short stature according to the my standard deviation so that i was not knowing later i read it and then i realized that height less than minus two standard deviation is nothing but short stature then we understood it is of various types like physiological and pathological physiological short stature come the meaning is that if my dad is short that my then i am also i also can be short for that you have to calculate the mid parental height for boys and girls it is different that you should know okay <laughs> okay then we have pathological short stature to know the details of pathological short stature we need to know the first of all upper segment and lower segment of a baby and the ratios we need to know and then we will go now a little more further in detail okay that's uh, perfect okay mm, okay <laughs> okay Dr. Shubham says, Osama bhai manage kaise kar rahe hai? Matlab kya problem hai? Okay, Pushpa says, fine, perfect. Sushmita Mondral, Shiv, Riya Verma. Uh, perfect, beautiful. Everything, one is understanding, sounds amazing. This part is done, done, done. Yes, now listen very carefully. Now, pathological short stature. See, physiological short stature, we need to know general that we need to calculate the mid parental height of the, of the, of the whole boys and girls. It is as a formula, I will tell you later that. In the pathological short stature, pathological, pathology, right? Pathological short stature is divided into proportionate short stature and disproportionate short stature. Pathological short stature is divided into proportionate short stature and disproportionate short stature. Now you have to use your brains disproportionate short stature. I'll repeat again physiological short stature, pathological short stature. In the pathological short stature, it is divided into proportionate short stature or disproportionate short stature. What is the meaning of proportionate short stature? In the proportionate short stature, upper segment, lower segment ratio will be normal. Means in I'm telling again. 
इन इन केस ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनेट शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर बच्चे का अपर सेगमेंट भी छोटा होगा लोअर सेगमेंट भी छोटा होगा इसलिए रेशो नॉर्मल हो जाती है इन अ केस ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनेट डॉर्फिज्म और प्रोपोर्शनेट शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर द बेबीज अपर सेगमेंट ऑल्सो इज स्मॉल एंड लोअर सेगमेंट ऑल्सो इज स्मॉल सो द ओवरऑल रेशो बिकम्स द नॉर्मल राइट वेर एज इन अ केस ऑफ डिस प्रोपोर्शनेट शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर इन अ केस ऑफ डिस प्रोपोर्शनेट शॉर्ट स्ट्रेचर इधर यू विल हैव अ इंक्रीज अपर सेगमेंट लोअर सेगमेंट रेशो और अ डिक्रीज अपर सेगमेंट lower segment ratio this is a very beautiful point okay you need to appreciate that i'll repeat again we have physiological short stature and pathological short stature in the physiological short stature i should calculate the mid parental height of the baby whereas in the case of uh, pathological pathology problem syndrome uh, or some pathology in pathology i need a pathological short stature we it is divided into proportionate short stature and disproportionate short stature in the case of proportionate short stature the baby is chota only the baby is small only or a dwarfism or a short stature only the only thing is upper segment is also short lower segment is also short so the ratio is short whereas in the case of disproportionate means some problem either there is a increase upper segment lower segment ratio or a decrease upper segment lower segment ratio and one very beautiful thing we need to appreciate over here yes dr suman you are right dr fillo and dr shubhangi is right which one is called as short trunk dwarfism and which one is known as short limb dwarfism now this is important bro i'll repeat again if i say decrease upper segment lower segment ratio if i write over here there is a upper segment lower segment ratio is decrease right is decrease so please remember this is known as nominator and this is known as denominator i hope you know that if you have by mistake uh, read maths in your life you need to understand this is known as nominator this is known as denominator so if the ray if the nominator decreases the overall ratio decreases okay if the nominator decreases the overall ratio decreases so I am saying short upper segment. Upper segment क्या होता है? Vertex to pubic symphysis is upper segment. No. So if I am saying short upper segment, can I write that this is also known as short trunk dwarfism? This is also known as short trunk dwarfism. Very 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 important. I'll repeat again. There are two types of dwarfism. One is known as short limb dwarfism, and one is known as short trunk dwarfism. समझ के पढ़ें मुंह बना के ना पढ़ें मुंह बना के पढ़ेंगे तो मुंह बनाए हुए नंबर आएंगे. If you make a face like this and then study that, oh, it's such a tough topic. Oh God, why this happens to me? So then your life also will be tough. तो लाइट रह के पढ़ेंगे तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा इफ़ यू थिंक लाइट हैव अ कॉफी सिट यू कैन हैव अ नाइस यू नो कॉफी और एनीथिंग एंड जस्ट चिल एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ओके In a case of disproportionate short stature, there are two problems. Either there is an increase upper segment lower segment ratio or decrease upper segment lower segment ratio. In this slide, we understood that decrease upper segment, as in this upper segment, the trunk wala segment. So that that this decrease upper segment lower segment ratio is also known as beautifully short trunk dwarfism. And opposite of that is short limb dwarfism. In a case of short limb dwarfism, there is an increase upper segment lower segment ratio. I hope you have understood this much. Let's move. फर्दर ओके पुष्पा ठीक है समझ में आ रहा है दिमाग में घुस रहा है थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ क्लास इज ओवर एंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इज लेफ्ट एंड लेट्स सी हाउ मच वी कैन कवर इन दिस क्लास ओके दिस पार्ट इज डन सो आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द प्रोपोर्शन एंड डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट एंड डिसप्रोपोर्शनेट हैज सब टाइप्स शॉर्ट ट्रंक एंड शॉर्ट लिम टू आफिजम दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाँ दिस पार्ट इज डन ओके वी हैव डन दैट ओके Yeah, so I said in a case of short trunk dwarfism, I said there is a decrease upper segment lower segment ratio, or I said there is a decrease upper segment per se. If the nominator is low, then the ratio is low. So can you tell me some important, beautiful, amazing causes of short trunk dwarfism? Can you beautifully tell me some important points of short trunk dwarfism? As in, I am asking you, can you tell me some diseases where there the vertex to pubic symphysis, this part is small or short or short trunk dwarfism, right? So very very important. So one basic thing, yes, very beautifully told by Shubhangi, Riya, and Shubham and Pushpa Sharma also that 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 if any spinal pathology, are you understanding? Can we appreciate this point that any spinal pathology? pathology bro any kind of spine issue if i have a spine 
final problem my upper segment will be small for example can i write kyphoscoliosis have you heard of kyphoscoliosis have you heard of forward bending of spine and lateral bending of spine like a kyphoscoliosis so there kyphoscoliosis i my I, my trunk becomes chota or small so it's an example of short trunk dwarfism can i say very importantly tb spine i got a tb of the spine or something known as pod spine so my vertebrae can become small can i write hemi vertebrae can I write hemi vertebrae, small vertebrae, that's what? Can I write allegally syndrome? We have done that very beautifully. Osama Sheikh, one of my favorite juniors, is answering so amazing. And he's literally like, putter, 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 like that he's answering. Very good, Osama. Bhagwan, sab kuch de aapko. Allegally syndrome. Allegally syndrome also is a problem. I hope you know that we have the butterfly shaped vertebra. We have done this multiple times. Allegally syndrome patient will have a butterfly shaped vertebra. And as my vertebrae are, vertebrae are butterfly shaped, then naturally my vertebrae becomes small. So I my any spinal problem means decrease upper segment. Decrease upper segment means not, nothing but the whole ratio decreases. And that is beautifully known as short trunk dwarfism. And we have have done that which is the most common congenital heart in allegheny syndrome we have done this beautiful question dr shubhangi kaushik could you please answer yes samriddhi ne pehle hi answer kar diya samriddhi has beautifully answered the most common congenital heart in what you called uh, allegheny syndrome is peripheral pulmonary stenosis peripheral pulmonary stenosis and yes we have already done that in a case of noonan syndrome also the most common congenital heart in noonan also is pulmonary stenosis and the most common congenital heart in allegheny syndrome also is pulmonary stenosis and the last example for uh, decrease upper segment lower segment ratio is nothing but spondylo epiphyseal dysplasia spondylo epiphyseal dysplasia these also were very beautiful examples of nothing but uh, decrease upper segment lower segment ratio this is one thing now the opposite of that is nothing but increase upper segment lower segment ratio so what are the beautiful examples of increase upper segment lower segment ratio so i hope you know that the examples of what you called uh, you know short limb dwarf or nothing but increase upper segment lower segment ratio three examples we must know that is nothing but rickets that is nothing but achondroplasia and we have one more disease known as a pseudochondroplasia so achondroplasia pseudo achondroplasia huh? pseudochondroplasia and also hypothyroidism hypothyroidism very very important so achondroplasia pseudochondroplasia rickets and hypothyroidism are the beautiful amazing causes of nothing but uh, apna short limb dwarfism or nothing but increase upper segment lower segment ratio like this is a very basic five marks question if you can beautifully you know incorporate in your own amazing words that we have short stature the definition the types is physical physiological pathological physiological you need to calculate the mid parental height and uh, for the pathological you, in the you have proportionate and disproportionate in the disproportionate you have short trunk and short limb and in the short trunk and short limb these are the amazing examples this is like a depth of this beautiful topic and achondroplasia pseudochondroplasia hypothyroidism and rickets very very important okay achondroplasia can you please tell me two important points just two random points on achondroplasia because i have a very very bad habit of integration we have to link can study uh, we, uh, any topic any word comes just just finish the whole topic only okay a chondroplasia can you beautifully answer in the comment section kuch koi gene mutation any gene mutation yes very beautifully put fgfr3 fgfr3 gene mutation is the right answer what is what is the inheritance autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive autosomal dominant what kind of pelvis do you see can you answer in the comment section samridhi is right osama shubhangi beautiful very good very good very good champagne glass glass pelvis champagne yes champagne glass pelvis that's very well put champagne glass pelvis you see in a case of achondroplasia what is the hand finding do we have a hand finding in a case of achondroplasia shubhangi osama apna pushpa sharma osama priya gupta priya gupta also has come that's nice so yeah that's right okay faizan raza says hello sir very 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 good evening good evening sir yeah itni late kyun aayo yes uh, the hand finding we have is trident hand trident hand very very important you have a trident hand as in uh, like that okay one two and three try this is like a trident hand jo uh, shiv ji ki trishul hoti hai na trishul ka ek teen muh hota hai na kaisi hoti hai trishul trishul bana ke dikhao mujhe aati nahi aise aise aur aise right this is the trishul no so it's like one segment this part and one segment and then we have this part 
so it's like a try so thumb is separate this part is separate this part is separate this is known as trident hand trident hand is seen in achondroplasia achondroplasia is fgfr3 gene mutation autosomal dominant inheritance and uca champagne glass pelvis that you should know this part is done okay 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 that's done 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 huh okay yeah and short limb dwarfism like very importantly short limb dwarfism limbs no limbs short limb dwarfism rickets we have done achondroplasia we have done and even hypothyroidism also we have done the other important causes of short limb dwarfism are congenital adrenal hyperplasia and growth hormone deficiency very very important orion says hello sir joined after a long time yes buddy how are you what's up what's up so yes, these are the two extra causes of nothing but short limb dwarfism. Rickets we finish, achondroplasia we finish, pseudochondroplasia we finish, hypothyroidism we finish, congenital adrenal hyperplasia and growth hormone deficiency. So any orthopedic problems, okay, spinal problem will be a short trunk dwarfism and any limb problems, orthopedic problems will be a short limb dwarfism. Very important you should know. And this is a very beautiful picture, bro. Very beautiful picture. Okay, this one, yeah, very, very, can you see that? See, bro, this one basically can you see that the, the limbs are so tall can you see that they're, they're really uh, the limbs are really long but the trunk is very small can you see that so this is nothing but very very important short trunk dwarfism photographic memory my dear please photographic memory plays a very important role this trunk is really short dear this is known as short trunk dwarfism and and the limbs are really long and then can you see that in this picture we have the the uh, so we have a short limb then this picture we have seen a short limb dwarfism photographic memory plays a very important role that you should know so we have a short trunk dwarfism and we have a short limb dwarfism photographic memory you should know this part is the trunk is really short here the short trunk and the, here the limbs are really short so short short limb that's it that's it that's it that's it okay hmm okay samridhi says i did not understand the pseudo thing okay fine that's beautiful that you have not understood let me show you one important point okay see samridhi my dear so see i'll tell you okay if you have asked me what is this okay what is this this is known as like uh, i'll tell you two important points because actually i know 10 points but you'll get confused so two important points how do you differentiate achondroplasia from pseudochondroplasia how do you differentiate achondroplasia from pseudochondroplasia so as you can see this picture what is this picture can you please tell me in the comment section so this is our game of thrones how many of you how many of you have seen game of thrones it's really good you should watch game of thrones it, it took me six months to finish game of thrones so in uh, game of thrones we have the character known as tyrion lannister and we had even we had a kamal hassan movie with the double role and kamal hassan was a short dwarf in one movie so this beautiful is a case of achondroplasia or nothing but short limb dwarfism can we appreciate photographic memory bro please so short limb short limb dwarfism very important this is achondroplasia what is pseudochondroplasia now this is a real patient of pseudochondroplasia this patient had come to my opd and uh, thanks the, to our patient that he gave the consent you know for this video and so beautifully can we appreciate this is a pseudochondroplasia this patient also some have some limb issues and everything but how do you know how do you differentiate achondroplasia from pseudochondroplasia this was my paper presentation topic actually so i'll tell you one nice topic this one very beautiful if I'm having a chondro, if I'm having a chondroplasia, point number one, I you will detect in my ultrasound. You the the short limb dwarfism, like this is a genetic problem, no? So you will detect in my ultrasound. Whereas pseudochondroplasia, the best point is the child is normal till three years of life, and then it showed a, a developmental regression or delayed milestones or mainly developmental regression. Doctor, my baby was doing very good neck holding. Doctor, my baby was able to stand actually, and then I I don't know suddenly what happened and the then the baby got a developmental regression are you understanding this is like really very important okay yes dr shubham is right like uh, the zero movie of sharukh khan also yes short limb dwarfism there it is there very true and also the, in the case of uh, achondroplasia there is a symmetrical limb shortening very nice point actually achondroplasia there is symmetrical limb shortening uh, in this patient no there is a symmetrical symmetrical limb shortening okay in a case of achondroplasia whereas in a case of pseudochondroplasia there is a asymmetric limb shortening so it is four basic points you need to know number one 
hemiplegic chondroplasia i can detect in the ultrasound whereas pseudo chondroplasia really very important point the child will be normal till three years of life and then the patient will have a developmental regression like i asked the patient multiple times this patient father no i asked him multiple times uh, how's the child you sure the child was normal you sure the child had a normal vaginal delivery you sure there was no problem by birth like thousand times that the father said doctor my baby was a perfect normal vaginal delivery cried immediately after but there was no problem doctor no fever no meningitis or anything and i don't know after some time then the baby got a regression are you understanding is everyone understanding yes or no please let me know yes samiti says this is completely new and very interesting yes my dear because you get very less cases of pseudo chondroplasia so that's what so we understood in this beautiful class that uh, a chondroplasia you detect genetically like ultrasoundographically you can detect and pseudo you can't number two a chondroplasia will have a symmetrical limb shortening and pseudo chondroplasia will have a asymmetric limb shortening and actually skull findings very very important skull findings you see in a case of a chondroplasia skull findings i'll show you the skull of also of a chondroplasia very very important so a chondroplasia like one basic thing you need to know this is also very beautiful case of a chondroplasia so usually the patient has a large skull with a narrow base okay the patient has a large skull with a very with a very narrow base the base the foramen magnum wala part is really short the patient has a large skull so in short the a chondroplasia patient will have very very important a skull problem skull problem large skull with a narrow base a chondroplasia whereas in a case of pseudo chondroplasia we must appreciate the patient will have a normal skull with variable vertebral findings the patient will not have any finding in the skull it the patient will have a finding in the vertebra whereas in the case of achondro it will have a skull finding the patient will have a macrocephaly or a large skull with a small narrow base okay and trident hand i told you trident hand you see in a case of a chondroplasia and whereas pseudo chondroplasia normal facial appearance and no trident hand very beautiful point very beautiful point i'll repeat again pseudo chondroplasia there is no trident hand as in so what is a trident hand uh, the trishul wala point i told you know so this one dear this one can we appreciate this so this one so it's like one like this one like this and one like this so like a try like a try like a trident hand the exact definition of a trident hand i'll tell you trident hand this is this is good okay this is good trident hand is marked divergence in the third and fourth finger third okay which is third third this is third and fourth is like huge divergence are you understanding you need to appreciate the knowledge hello everyone this is beautiful okay so uh, what is trident examiner will ask you what is trident hand sir trident uh, uh, oh karte raja okay pata hona chahiye kya hota trident theek hai so trident hand what is trident hand it is a mark of divergence where is the divergence in the third and the fourth finger third and the fourth like fourth is separate and third is separate like something like you how should i show you i don't know how to do it something like this okay this sounds better there's a mar divergence in the third and the fourth finger so that the thumb that is the thumb the first two fingers okay thumb first two fingers and last two fingers okay last two fingers stand out as a separate group to give a trident appearance such a beautiful point such a beautiful point can we appreciate this amazing knowledge yes or no so this is a trident hand matlab trishul jo teen hote hai na we have trishul has a has a three has a tri thing no so one thumb is separate the first two fingers are kind of separate and last two fingers are kind of kind of separate so yeah roughly you need to know remember okay some book says like this also and some book says like ayo like one second like this also are you understanding so don't start debating that it is like this or is it like this the only basic understanding we need to know there is a trident trident try uh, trident hand are you understanding yes or no or should i use german or italian language to tell you what i'm trying to convey hmm yeah okay sarthak says sir why the pseudo chondroplasia patients need support for walking but a chondroplasia patient doesn't that's how it is my dear sarthak that's how it is the genetic workup like the patient of what is called a pseudo chondroplasia no 
दे विल हैव लिम प्रॉब्लम्स दे विल हैव काइंड ऑफ यू नो डिफॉर्मिटी इन देयर लोअर लिम्स आल्सो दे विल हैव अ वेरी फ्लैसिड कैन यू सी द लिम्स दे आर लिटरली वेरी फ्लैसिड वेरी वेरी फ्लैसिड लाइक दैट द द बेबीज अपर एंड लोअर लिम्स आर एंड दैट्स हाउ इट इज दैट्स अ डिफरेंस ऑफ सूडो एंड एक कोंड्रोप्लेजिया दैट्स अ जेनेटिक वर्कअप दैट्स हाउ इट इज दैट्स टू द सूडो कोंड्रोप्लेजिया विल लुक नॉर्मली टू यू दैट्स द डिफरेंस नो दैट दे विल हैव अ नॉर्मल फेशियल अपीयरेंस बट द अपना द दिस वन द ए कोंड्रोप्लेजिया विल हैव अ स्कल problems like a macro kefali like a large skull with a narrow base that you should know has everyone understood this much yes or yes yes first tell me put a like button or please let me know and we have to finish this class here only uh, nowadays we are keeping classes for 40 to 45 minutes only <clears throat> yes you are right o oi also is short you are right and what is the name of the classification we use for oi uh what is called silence classification so how will the patient present of oi what is oi osteogenesis imperfecta how will the patient present the patient will present with history of recurrent fractures with blue sclera that's how the patient will present recurrent fractures with blue sclera that you should know and i think pamitronate no yeah something like that we are using in the, in the treatment that's it that finishes this class today this was the 45 minutes a quick discussion on the short stature in the next segment we're going to talk about the second part of the short stature i'm going to keep the classes very short because i need to do uh, other recordings also actually i'm finding getting little busy that's why these days so i'll repeat again in this beautiful class what we understood in this beautiful mm -hmm. class of short stature we understood that what we see depends mainly on what we look for you look for happiness you see happiness everywhere you look for sadness you see sadness everywhere please zindagi bhagwan ki ek bahut mehangi gift hai khush rahe hamesha life is the most beautiful gift you can ever get in your life just feel it enjoy it embrace it because you never know uh, you know when the problem comes we understood that short stature is defined as uh, height less than 3rd centile or less than minus 2 standard deviation then also we understood the various types of short stature physiological pathological physiological short stature we have to calculate the uh, mid parental height that is father's height plus mother's height upon 12 plus 6.5 for boys and father's height plus mother's height upon 12 minus 6.5 for girls that is the formula for mid parental height then we understood that after physiological we have pathological for the pathological first is the upper segment lower segment ratio and then also we understood that uh, the pathological short stature is subdivided into proportionate and disproportionate in the proportionate the usls ratio is normal in the disproportionate as the name says disproportionate short stature so, so the usls ratio either it is increase or it is decrease and then also be beautifully understood the various causes of increase and decrease upper segment lower segment ratio allegheny syndrome we understood butterfly shape what ibra even uh, now extra point we got it that congenital adrenal hyperplasia and growth hormone deficiency will have a short limb dwarfism or nothing but increase upper segment lower segment ratio beautiful pictures also we were able to appreciate in the upcoming segment what we will do in the upcoming segment we got some another important causes like marfan syndrome important we got to know uh, mucopolysaccharidosis also short tongue in the next class i'm going to talk about these features also and very very important i'm going to talk about the see disproportionate we understood short limb and short uh, uh, trunk but proportionate short stature where upper segment also is short and lower segment also is short but the ratio is normal so we understood like we will in the further class we'll talk about something known as familial short stature and constitutional short stature and very very important with a other causes of short stature with the graph also how to look for the graph of short stature we're going to talk about some amazing points on this various short stature that's it and we're going to talk about the bone age and chronological age also and that's it that finishes this class has everyone understood yes or yes yes please let me know pavani says sir please add details on how to read a growth chart definitely my dear i'll do that once we finish this topic i will surely keep the this one uh, the topic thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation a short and sweet class and thank you osama mahendra shubhangi and uh, philo pande sarthak praharaj pavani and dr shubham and uh, before leaving we have a quick shairi a quick shairi which uh, today we were discussing osama shubhangi and me so it's in hindi so the quick shairi it says that uh, tujhe pyar karna nahi aata tujhe pyar karna nahi aata mujhe pyar ke siwa kuch nahi aata tujhe pyar karna nahi aata mujhe pyar ke siwa kuch nahi aata duniya mein jeene ke sirf do hi tarike hain ek tujhe nahi aata aur ek mujhe nahi aata 
तो दैट्स द शायरी फॉर द इवनिंग इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल शायरी आई रिपीट अगेन तुझे प्यार करना नहीं आता मुझे प्यार के सिवा कुछ नहीं आता तुझे प्यार करना नहीं आता मुझे प्यार के सिवा कुछ नहीं आता दुनिया में जीने के सिर्फ दो ही तरीके हैं एक तुझे नहीं आता और एक मुझे नहीं दैट फिनिश दिस टूडेज क्लास समृद्धि से सॉन्ग song no song today is shairi day today is shairi uh, in the next class tomorrow i have a offline class of tnd test and discussion for 4 hours in gautam nagar in delhi so tomorrow i will not be able to take a class day after tomorrow 8:30 pm we going to have a class so let's let's see and thank you please take care and uh, be happy bye bye <laughs> when can a baby say bye bye a baby can say bye 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 9 months 9 months okay take care